Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Today I will read from a book titled The Living and Working by Dogma, published by MIT Press. Living and Working focuses on research we have conducted in the last decade on the architecture of domestic space and was developed simultaneously through studies of the history of domesticity and a wide range of design projects. There is no cause and effect between these two parts, but a continuous tension between critical inquiry and attempts to reform what is the most familiar and yet difficult kind of architecture, the house. Living and working commonly refers to a housing accommodation where it is possible to live and work in the same place. More specifically, live-work accommodation emerged in the United States between the 1960s and the 1970s. Initially, live-work was a grassroots transformation of former industrial structures into houses that combined residence and workplace, but soon it was appropriated by real estate and transformed into a commercially successful and controversial housing type. This book expands the idea of living and working beyond its literal interpretation as live-work, questioning the relationship between house and work that has been at the core of the historical evolution of domestic space for millennia. Since its invention, domestic space has always been a place of work, as it is the place where we reproduce ourselves. Yet, this space is also defined as private, which means that reproduction is considered a natural duty of the family and especially of women. The seclusion of the family household was reinforced with the modern separation between home and workplace and by making the house a form of private property. This condition naturalizes reproduction, projecting an idea of the home as safe haven, away from the promiscuity of non-family social relationships. It proposes to move beyond this idea of the home by questioning not only the privatization of reproduction, but also, and especially, the idea of the home as a form of property. The main argument of this research is that home should be considered a cooperative structure in which it is possible to live and work, and where domestic labor can be socialized beyond the family. The projects presented in this book were developed in different contexts. Some have been developed as contributions to exhibitions, some as competition entries, and others as commissions. As such, these projects were conditioned by specific briefs that often took for granted the idea of domestic space as private realm. Each project was thus an attempt to rethink its brief, putting forward the idea of a more cooperative form of living that would question at the same time the typological setup as well as the ownership regime. These proposals are unavoidably approximations of this ambition, but together they can be seen as an attempt to move beyond the given parameters within which architecture conventionally conceives of housing. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.